So we're ready to start using the temper paint this time around as we're working two-dimensionally. And so we've got our paint palettes here full of our primaries, our red, yellow, and blue, and then just the black and white for the neutrals. And these are all you get to mix all of these colors. All right, so this time around you have a mixing palette. So you'll be mixing each one of these colors uh, within the palettes here. And at the end of the day, monitors will clean these things off. So as you start, uh, starts here at the top of yellow, we're going to work our way uh, clockwise to the yellows, the oranges, the red, orange, and the red. We're going to do that part first. Okay, so I'm gonna take scoop of yellow. Take another scoop of yellow here. And then I'm going to go ahead, since I have the yellow on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and paint my yellow in the yellow spot. Now don't, make sure you do not just take the red to the red and to the blue to the blue and do those first. Okay, just do the yellow. We're trying to save as much paint as possible and I'll show you why here's or here as I go. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the yellow. All right, I got my yellow orange, so I'm making oranges, so I need my primary, so I've got my yellow and then on the other side over here, I've got my red, so yellow and red makes our oranges. And so just like I've been saying before, you just add a little bit of the darker color into the lighter color. And so I've got to wash out my brush, dry it off, and now I can get a little, a little bit, not much, to make my yellow orange. And if it's not enough, that's okay. We can always go ahead and we can add a little bit more. So we got my yellow orange. Now make sure you're slowing down and make sure you're painting all the way in the lines. I'm going a little bit quickly for the demonstration. Now to make my orange, I just need to add more red to the same color. Okay, so the more red you add, the closer to red it will become. So I've got to wash out my brush, dry it off, Grab a little more red this time. Mixing it again. Scrape it off. And I've got my orange. That got a little bit on the red orange side, but that's okay. And so for my red orange, same thing. Wash, dry. Add a little bit more red to the same color. Got my red orange. And of course my red will just be my straight up red. And so I could do that very quickly. So once you're done with the reds, then we're going to move around and we're going to be doing the violets. So we're going to go be going from the red to our blue. So red and blue equal violet. So I'll start out with my red. Get a couple of scoops in there, that's pretty good. And just add a tiny bit of blue just really, just barely any, because this stuff is going to change it very quickly because blue is a very dark color. Okay, now it didn't change all that much, which is good. That means I'm not putting too much on there. So I'll just add a little bit more. Until I get my red violet. That looks pretty good. And now I just continue along. For my violet, I would add more blue to the same color to get my violet. And then on my blue violet, I'm going to add more blue to that same color to get my blue violet. And of course, my blue is just my blue. Now with the yellows, with the yellow, the greens. So our last one, our blue and our yellow added together equals our green. And of course, we adding the darker blue to the lighter uh, yellow, which makes our green. But this time we've been going clockwise this whole time. We're going to go counterclockwise. 
Okay, so we're actually going to start from yellow. We're going to go this way to yellow green because we can't really go backwards. We'll add a ton of yellow to get that to blue green from the blue. So we're starting with our yellow and adding our green. We're adding our blue first. Okay, and just add a teeny bit. And make sure you're, you're going through the motions and just going ahead and washing out your brush each time. So now going this way, I'm able to do the same thing, which is just add a tiny bit of that darker color to the lighter color. Oops, got a little bit of red in there because I didn't wash out my brush well enough. Okay. And then of course my green, I just add a little bit more blue to the same color to get my true green, a little bit more blue to the same color to blue green. And lastly, my blue is just solid blue. And after this, uh, we're going to be making uh, browns much in the same way, except um, this time around, you're going to, of course, going to have to make these secondary colors, and then you're going to be adding primaries to them.